Hi everyone, welcome to the new tutorial from Python Pi. This one's going to be about integrating the dismemberment and bone break system into the multiplayer survival game template by Dapper Raptor. So what we've done to get started is I've installed the multiplayer survival game template from the Epic Launcher and just dragged across the dismemberment and bone break files from within the content folder to the content folder inside the multiplayer survival game template. Step one, so let's find the BP bone break logic only character. This is located under the BSP dismemberment and bone break folder. Then we'll just go to blueprints, characters, logic only character, and find the character here. So we'll just open this up. We're going to have to reparent this. So we're going to see some errors, but it's okay, we'll go through them. So let's go to the file, reparent blueprint, and the target blueprint that we wish to point to is survival character. Should be at the top and should be in blue. Okay, cool, got loads of stuff. Compile, save, and we've got the warnings. These warnings that we're gonna see are nothing special. It's just the config files. One of the files has spaces, one of the files doesn't. So when we're trying to find the input lookup access, Access. All we need to do is just type in look up. Select the one with the diamond with the right word, the right facing arrow inside, and then we just hold control, click and drag, and that should just bring the file the the that should just bring the nodes to us. So what we're going to do is going to have to go through each of these. Again, click and drag click and drag and once we're done all the controls should hopefully match up Let's see where we are now. Want to go look up. Okay, excellent. So now if we just reposition this, compile and save, we'll now have no errors. Excellent. Now for step two, we'll just go back to the main navigation here. Close this up, and the file we're going to be looking to edit is the the game mode. So in SGT, we want to navigate to the do, 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 blueprints, and then survive game survival game controller survival game mode. There we go. Open this one up, and we want to change the default pawn class. That's going to be down here. Default pawn class is currently survival character. Since we reparented, we want to change this to the logic only character. Save this. For step three, we're going to update the usable actor. So SGT, blueprints, and then hit the actor. On the top actor folder, we will have the SGT usable. Open this up, and what we're going to be adding is the BPC DABB weapon data. If you're not sure what this does, what this does is it basically just holds all of the animation information that the dismemberment and bone break system calls from any holdable object. So if you've got your arm cut off, your leg cut off, depending on what state you're in, depends on how you interact and what animation set gets used. Let's compile and save. And step four. This one's got quite a bit of fiddling about in it. So we're going to have to get the survival controller. So this is going to be, it should be located under SGT blueprints. And then we'll find game. 
and inside game we're looking for survival controller. First things first, we want to create a function. This function is going to have a ridiculous name because there's no other way of doing it. So let's just call it f underscore link link usable to dabb.com component. Yep, we're good there. So f underscore link usable to dab component pretty much does what it says in the tin. Uh, so here we want to add in, I should have opened up the, the function up the top here, so let's compile and save before it all blows up on us. Um, so under variables, hit up reference, and inside here you should see the player character value variable. Pull it into the, the blueprint. And from here, what we want to do is we want to cast this to logic only character. We're going to make this into a pure cast. And let's just work from here. So from here, to bring in the BPC bone data, should be down the bottom here. Perfect. And from here, we're going to pull back one of the functions from uh, dismemberment and bone break, bone data component. Now, this one again has a ridiculous name, so brace yourself. F D A B B active weapon anim set to ABP on switch. Basically, update the animation whenever this value changes. So connect up the executable node and we want to take the owning weapon reference and drag this over the function. This should create a new pin for us. And that will allow us to push the object to wherever it needs to, the actor, my apologies, to the uh, dismemberment bone break component on the character. As always, remember your return node. Compile, save. So hopefully no errors. That's a good sign. And let's get back to the, the main menu. So step five, we need to update the um, inventory manager component. This should be located in the most obvious place, if I remember correctly, SGT blueprint uh, components, yes. And C manager inventory. There we go. So let's open this one up. Now, what we're going to do is find the inventory settings under variables, and then we're looking for equipped item. Cool. We're going to set replication to rep notify. Okay, and this is going to give us the rep notify function here. Just close some of these other bits and bobs down. Cool. So we're going to be looking for some functions. And the function that we want to find is... So, on the on rep equipped item, what we'll need to do is we need to find the player controller. Player controller should be a reference inside the uh, variable inside the variable settings under inventory settings. So let's just get this, bring it across into the blueprint, and we'll cast this to the survival. controller again keep it pure right click change it to pure cast and then we're going to bring this to f link usable to DABB component 
click this in here and equipped item will reference itself here. Okay, so let's find equipped item again. So what's happening is whenever equipped item it has is changed on the inventory, this will run the rep notify. The rep notify will update the um, DAB component to say this is the weapon that we're currently using so we can then pull the, the animations from it. As always, fire in your return node at the end. File and save. So, I'm going to look for the unequip. U N E, unequip usable function. Double click on this. And right at the very end of this, we're just going to bring in the equipped item. And we're going to set, bring this in as a set value. Link it in right at the end here. And we want this to be null because since it's now rep notify and it's going to be updating the ABB, what's going to happen is when you remove the weapon, if no other equipped item is existing, it will bring back the base animation set and not rely on pulling information from the equipped item. Make sure you compile and save. Thanks for watching. Next video, we'll look a little bit further into how we can get these two packs to work together.